Awesome. Should be recording now. Perfect. So I'll we'll use the other account to share the screen. So we've got a few updates. So it's better if we also share a screen while we talk about this. So um, yeah, let's do that right now. Alex, let me know when you can see my screen. I see it now. Amazing. Okay, so I think we'll get started. So this is being recorded, and I know it's a Saturday, and most people are busy with life, which is absolutely fine. So um, this was, unfortunately, the time which worked best for us as well. So um, lots of people will get to see this um, later on. We'll put this on YouTube. We'll tag it on our socials. So if you're not here uh, or if you want to go somewhere, you can always catch up later. Um, so, Alex, how's the market looking for you? Looks really good, right? The market is looking really good, both on the um, on the local side and the larger crypto uh, market overall. It's it's pretty crazy, and I've seen some of the price targets people are calling out for <laughs> Bitcoin and <laughs> and for uh, the market cap overall. And there's some big numbers floating around, so it's it's a wait and see thing, I think. Yeah, it's been crazy. Uh, I did not expect that at all. I mean, the ETF buying pressure is just crazy at the moment. And especially iBit is um, <laughs> buying like anything. And if you compare that to the Bitcoin, which is being mined on a daily basis, there's a huge demand compared to the supply. So obviously the price is where it is. But who yeah, knows I what think, happens in the future, right? I think that on average, ETF inflows are uh, on the daily 12 times higher than the mining inflow, which is nuts. Yeah, and it will get even worse <laughs> when uh, the halving happens. So, um, yep. yeah, I was expecting the grayscale sell-off to have a very big impact, but it's just being swallowed up. It was may it was maybe 3%, and then it bounced back. Yeah, yeah, crazy. But, yeah, um, lots has been happening in EG. Um, someone just posted me that a 26K buy just came in, so that's amazing. <laughs> Um, I think someone probably saw this before us, which is not possible, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got this news post uh, available now on our news site. So we'll just recap what's happened in February. And um, yeah, after we go through it, it's just hard to believe that it's only the second month of the year and we've achieved so much. Um, I think we've ticked most of the items on our roadmap. Um, so we need a new new roadmap, which is a nice problem to have. So we'll go through this document, recap February, uh, talk about some prizes and competitions and how they went, and then we will look at the future as to what's coming next. Sound good to you? And uh, starting off uh, with the top of the list, uh, Hassan, there's been there's been a number of integrations and things that have been done um, to increase our reach. Can you talk mm. a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so let's go to those first. So um, you can also see it on my screen. So I'll just go down the list from there. So we integrated with Crypto Rank, which is um, a, a site which pro provides new stickers, data, um, insights, and stuff like that to various uh, online platforms. So if you have a look at on our swap site, EG Swap Exchange. You can see this ticker towards the top. So that's coming from CryptoRank. We were not a token which was listed on here. So they, you know, after a bit of chat with them, um, they uh, graciously listed us. So you can also see our price here. Um, and um, yeah, it was a good integration to have. It gets our name out there, and they've also listed us on their platform. So people who go to CryptoRank can see our market cap, all of our data and social. So that was a cool thing to get done. Um, so we continued that team throughout the month as well. Uh, so as you can see here, this is where they listed us. We also uh, integrated the chain lists. So they are quite a big company um, and they provide data uh, to many uh, centralized exchanges and helps them with their compliance. And this was very important for us because, um, as you know, EG Spectre allows you to trade anonymously. So you can swap one crypto to the other across blockchains and you can do it in an anonymous manner. 
you know, e.g. Spectre, Spectre means ghost, hence the name, to be invisible. But it also allows you to do it in a discrete way, which basically, um, so let's actually have a look. So if you go to e.g. Spectre, launch it here, and there's a toggle here. You can either be private or totally, uh, or, or discrete. And if you, let's say I want to convert one BTC to ETH, so that's getting the price. And as you can see, currently it's 17.6 ETH. And if you enter your wallet address here, you can start the swap. Uh, but if you do to the discrete mode, you'll see that the price from 17.6 will be a bit better, 17.9. That's because we don't really anonymize it 100%. We give it to you in a way which is discrete. So it's better privacy than the public version, but still very hard to trace. If somebody is hell bent on tracing your transaction, they might be able to do that in the discrete manner. But in private way, it's totally anonymous. Uh, yeah, we'll be very surprised if anybody is able to track this down because of the backend and how we use anonymous currencies like uh, XMR, for example, to anonymize your transaction. So um, we talked about anonymous transactions, so we can't not talk about Tornado Cash, which was also something which was very famous previously, and they were shut down because on the compliance side, they never really uh, adhere to any policies, or rules, or regulations. So lots of bad actors, uh, criminals, um, hackers were using that platform to transact crypto, right? So if we launch this uh, app and don't do anything compliance-wise, we'll also be shut down in the future. So it was really important that we try to minimize the reach of bad actors to our platform. This is where Chainlysis and other organizations that we are working with come up. So they provide us essentially data uh, which comes from SEC, many U.S. organizations, and also from Chainlysis themselves, which uh, sends a report uh, of all the wallet addresses which are linked with hacks or cyber criminals, and we essentially block any of those parties to trade on our platform. That's on top of our internal checks that we do. And um, if we do see a, a wallet which is being uh, used in a bad way, we don't let them use our platform at all. It's just adhering to those policies, rules and regulations, making sure that we are future proof and not really something <laughs> that can be shut down because we are not compliant. So this was quite a big integration for us and there'll be many more like this coming up in the future as well. It's very cool. Um, the, the tech is really one of a kind and I, uh, Hassan, you know, I was talking to you last week and I kind of had that light bulb moment yeah. Where, um, you know, it, I don't know how many people that are listening are from the U.S., but here in the U.S., it is so difficult to find cross-chain, um, cross-chain off and on ramps in crypto. Uh, we're in the U.S., we're not allowed to use Binance anymore. We're not allowed to use Mexi. Um, Sushi Swap barely works. So, um, when I when I had that light bulb moment where I realized that this tech that that the team has built, Ichi Spectre, also allows Super simple and affordable um, cross chain um, to and from the Binance smart chain. This is a total game changer. Yeah, absolutely. And if you look at this landing page, it actually tells you, um, you know, what the opportunity is. So, you know, at the height of their popularity, Tornado Cash mixed, uh, you know, they, they totally mixed 7.6 billion worth of Ether since they launched. And the daily volume was over $100 million consistently. And it's estimated widely that 30% of that funds were illegal or illicit, right? So now that it's gone away, where does that 70% of demand go, right? There's other players in the market as well. And we are trying to really capture uh, a small chunk of this market and then grow to be uh, a major player in this industry. So, you know, if we did $70 million of demand, and this was going back a couple of years, now with the bull run, it will be crazy. And you get 1% of market share, that's 700K flowing through EG Spectre, right? And don't forget that everything which gets processed by EG Spectre, we get a commission, and that commission is then used to buy back the EG token and reward the holders, uh, the stakers, and also stakers of our NFTs. So that puts consistent buying pressure on the token all the time. And there's a lot of things that make us different. So um, I'll quickly go through them here as to what they are. So we are not a currency mixer. We block any wallet which belongs to sanctioned entities. So this is where Chainlysis and other uh, organizations that we uh, speak to come in. We don't require user accounts. 
we do not accept any payments from users. So we talk to third parties and many uh, uh, decentralized exchanges on the back end who basically take on all the risk. We are essentially just passing you after anonymizing your transactions to these liquidity providers who actually provide liquidity. Uh, we don't charge any fees directly from you. Uh, we receive commission from exchanges. We are not a market maker, so we don't have any of our pools or liquidity pools, and we never retain possession of funds. So all of these things are what Tornado Cash wasn't. So it really differentiates us on a compliance level uh, to not be like them or, or end up like that. So even if there's a bad actor who uses our platform, the risk lies with the actual exchanges that we talk to. They also have their KYC and compliance procedures. So on top of our uh, due diligence, they also do due diligence on their side. So if we okay a wallet, which they think is dodgy, they will also block that wallet on their side. So yeah, it's, it's quite nice in the way it works and really takes away all the risk from our side. Um, we did lots of social uh, activities as well. So we carried out a Twitter raid for 24 hours. Uh, you know, hundreds of users posting about EG and all of our platforms. Uh, there were nearly a thousand. This is not all of it. There were more than a thousand posts done. So quite nice to get our name out there. And we had some decent exposure to quite a few big uh, accounts as well. Next one is the uh, migration, which is closed. So you can read all about that here. A very long tiring process. Um, we migrated over 18,000 people. We have uh, processed over 1,200 tickets, manually, painfully migrating people over to the new token. Even though we had videos, uh, you know, text documents, long tutorials, uh, they were just not being followed. So people wouldn't either have BNB in their accounts to pay gas fees. Uh, they wouldn't know how to connect their wallets properly or uh, you know any of the other issues that we highlighted in our FAQs, but just not being looked at. So after a year, this is finally the uh, day when uh, migration has now come to a close. And um, yeah, you can read all about that in our, in our news post over here. We had a biggest buy uh, competition on EG as well, where we said we will give a one BNB price. So lots of big buys came in, but uh, the winner is uh, a wallet ending with 1979, uh, who bought 11.1 .1 BNB. Uh, so the, the transaction which happened to the year 26K obviously beats that, but it's after the cutoff. So the price actually goes to this buyer here and your reward has been delivered to your wallet. So enjoy and hopefully you'll buy some more EG with it. Um, okay, let's move on to the next point. So we opened EG Spectre public access. So if you look at this post here, you'll see that we... Um, made EG Spectre available publicly. So EG Swap, when we launched it, was only available to a very small number of beta testers who gave us immense feedback. And based on that, we were able to uh, make lots of modifications. And we had lots of people who came in and said they either missed out testing it or they want to get involved. So we launched EG Spectre as an, uh, as, uh, an early access to it. So anybody can get involved. Not all the pairs will be available, but limited pairs were. This will allow you to test it for real and also give us essential feedback to improve um, how it works. So this started on the 19th of Feb till 29th, and we announced a few prizes uh, of those for those people who were actually going to take part in this. So uh, what has actually happened? So the biggest single transaction was done from XRP to BNB, and this was uh, over... $12,000. So um, the price was $150. Uh, so please, uh, you've sent all of these details to the visit over Telegram. So um, hopefully um, you can contact us and we'll give you the price money. The most volume traded was also by the same person. So this wallet here was transacting XRP into um, BNP. And they also transacted the most volume, so also takes away the $100 price. Um, and even though we are showing you this screen, don't worry, because it's been more than 48 hours and we automatically delete any historic transactions. So as you can see, if you even try to open up this ID on our platform, you'll get this uh, error saying 
it's not visible anymore. So as a security precaution for 48 hours, we save all your data just to help you if anything is going wrong. But after that, it's erased from our system. So again, a very cool thing to have when you want to transact anonymously. And, and major kudos to the, uh, I just wanted to say major, major kudos to the devs, um, both the front end and the back end devs, just making it all work so smoothly. Yeah, amazing work indeed. It really works very nicely, both in discrete and anonymous manner. And the lastly, we had the um, prize for the best bug or improvement suggestion. So that goes to the TG user MFX Crypto. Uh, please reach out to us uh, to claim your $75 prize. And um, thanks for all that you've done for testing it and providing a feedback. Yeah, right. congrats to all the winners. Uh, Alex, you want to know how much volume we put through? Tell me, tell me. All right. In 10 days, we processed nearly 0 0.75 BTC. That's nearly $47,000, which went through Easy Spectre. Um, yeah, just overshadowed by the transaction which happened today. And a very big transaction came on EG Spectre today as well, which I'll probably speak about next month. Uh, but yeah, uh, it was actually 452 transactions were created. So this is just people trying out the system, but not really processing any orders. But 212 actually finished. And the total volume generated was 0 0.7 BTC. Amazing. So that tells you that demand um, just without, you know, promoting it actively across our socials, just opening it to a limited set of people uh, and not having all the pairs available. But now when we launch it uh, for real, um, you'll actually get to see that. Uh, let me show you here. So once uh, this launches properly, you'll be on um, 20, different, 20 different blockchains and 100 plus tokens that will keep on adding every single day. And that's amazing. Um, going on, um, not finished yet. So we uh, listed Untoken. Um, they are a, a project who uh, do some amazing things. So please go check them out. Um, and now they can trade their Ethereum token on EG Swap. And every time they do, they get a part of the trading fees back because we are one of the only exchange, decentralized exchange that shares volume, uh, that shares trading fees back with the project. So if you transact on Uniswap or Pancake Swap, you are charged trading fees, uh, but they go to the protocol. Uh, Pancake Swap buys their cake token. So for us, we share that revenue with the projects and also use uh, the fees that we generate to buy back our token. So EG token for us is the cake token. And if you see what cake token and other similar tokens have done in the past, uh, it looks like a very bright future if our DEX really picks up volume and lots of projects enlist on it. So um, yeah, this is another addition after many projects listed on in January as well. Um, and because they listed with us, we did a partnership with them and we have got a promotion going on where you can stake your EG to earn 600K rewards pool of EG tokens and also 10 Gator Gang NFTs are also up for grabs. And the APR is quite good because it's only limited for a month you can get up to 50% APR on your token. So let's see what that looks like and how many people have taken part. So here it is. This is very similar to Zili that we did. You guys uh, must know about that. So let's see what has happened so far. So 60 people have taken part currently, 460 actions, which uh, range from you know, joining our TG, talking about us on the socials and just taking their tokens has happened. So yeah, a very good initiative to be a part of. If you haven't, please do check it out. Hassan, for anyone listening that might have connections um, or interest in other tokens that might want to get listed on EG Swap, can you talk a little bit about who our ideal partner is or um, what kinds of uh, tokens we'd be looking to list? Absolutely. We are open to any token or any player out there, big or small. It doesn't really matter um, who it is. So because it's a DEX, anybody can list their token and get trading started. But for the white listing of trading fees to be shared with you, there are some rules that we follow and there are only some projects that we uh, offer that to. Uh, and that's who are open to integrate with us, work with us, co-promote us, and are working on something which adds value in the crypto space. So, yeah, if 
you basically can transact any BSC and Ethereum token on our platform. But if you want the project to earn revenue from our platform, uh, please uh, let them know to reach out to us so we can work on something together that promotes and helps both projects. And if you do that, we have an affiliate program, which is quite nice. So if you refer the project to advertise on us, you get 10% of the spend. If you refer the project to add liquidity and move some of their trading to us, you get a part of the revenue share for six months. So you know the two-way revenue share, Alex, that we keep 50% and get back to the project becomes a three-way trading uh, revenue share. And then you get a piece of the pie for six months. Very cool. Uh, and also for the smart router. So yeah, check this out as well. Uh, if you refer something to us, you will also benefit from it. Cool. Okay, let's move forward to Flues. So another quite a big promotion and partnership that has happened. Uh, Flues, uh, I think most people know about them. And they are one of the few people who started doing uh, crypto on and off ramp services. So we are now listed on Flues. We've done a partnership with them as part of their premium package. And there are lots of benefits which came with it. So I'll just mention a few. Uh, so we have EG Ramp where you can buy crypto using fiat. Uh, but as a backup, you can also now buy EG using all of these different methods uh, on Flues. We've done some core marketing. They prepared the how to buy EG guide on their platform. They've given us a shout out in their newsletter, which has a lot of users. Um, uh, they, they have some alpha networks and partner networks that now be a part of. So lots of diff different developers are there that we get a chance to talk to and solve issues together. Uh, they've done a Twitter post and Insta post and we'll be working on many collabs together. So a quite nice partnership to have. And this is the sort of stuff we're looking at when we work with projects where we co-promote each other and help each other when there are any issues. Okay, uh, some more listings. So we were listing on, listed on Token Insight and also Coin Paprika. And uh, these are just other platforms uh, where we are continuing to spread our name um, and uh, all users on this platform will get to see us, uh, hear about us. And uh, yeah, this is something we'll continue in the next few months as well. Lots of different places which will list the EG token, uh, and that's something we had missing uh, for a very long time. And as you know about the Alphas group, yeah. So this is going to be a um, uh, a separate uh, private group for for people that are key contributors, right? Absolutely, yeah. So that's something which was asked for for a very long time. So on the Discord side, we have our marketing councils and social councils, and for some reason, Discord activity has been very light. Most people prefer Telegram, but we have kept both open. So for Telegram users, there's a dedicated alpha group, and it only has very few members uh, right now. But the whole point was that we provide a space where the key contributors and large holders and people who are really active within Telegram and get to really work closely with us, strategize, and work on promotions together. So there is no price advantage of being in that group. So we don't really talk about when to buy or sell, for example, uh, but we talk about how we can promote the project in a better way. And what's good from this group that has come out already is that you know there's lots of discussions happening here on a daily basis. And one of our mods, who's part of the alpha group, said, you know, Reddit looks a place which is deserted. Uh, lots of people need help. I'm happy to step up and start moderating. So we handed over the keys, made made them a mod, and now Reddit looks like a very good place to be. Uh, they're getting rid of the FUD, providing user support, uh, also updating all the links. And when we post something on our news sites, they also post it on Reddit. So just an example of how this alpha group can add value. And our uh, our longtime holders and and longtime contributors are a really solid group too. They're they're very mission aligned, which has always impressed me because uh, they really want to see us push uh, tech and ideas out there that make a meaningful, lasting difference rather than just empty marketing. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. Cool. So the next point is about opening Reddit moderation. So thanks to EGL for that is now possible. Um, so what have we done? 
with all the volume that we created. So we've bought back 2.2 BNB worth of EG tokens, uh, which is here. So the buy which came on early today. And all the funds, all the EG that were uh, generated from this buy, so you can see about 827,000, they were split 50 50 and sent to the EG stakers on our uh, decks and to get against stakers. So you can see the two transactions here 408,000 each going to the staking platform and the gate against platform. So the gators ate well today. <laughs> Legendaries got 8,500, all squad. Two and a half thousand and common rewards for 73 each. So those rewards were sent earlier today. On the Gator Gang mints, we also had a very good month. So lots of activity happening on Gators where people are minting them. So we still have quite a few available. So if you don't have one, please go get them. And you can see all of the activity about the Gators in our Gator travel lock. Uh, section on Discord. So if you go here, you'll be able to see all the buy, sells, transfers, stakes, and unstakes. So quite cool to see because you get to see pictures as well. So it's very nice to see them actually coming through. All right, this burn. is a pretty big. Uh, this is a pretty big milestone. That's a very big milestone indeed. So we'll be burning nearly one percent of our supply which is more than 50K in uh, dollar value um, and is uh, an awesome thing to achieve. So this will happen on the 10th of March and will happen as a burn party on our burning platform. And that's something we can all promote, share, and just rally behind when it actually happens on the 10th. So yeah, major, major milestone uh, really takes us towards a token which is working actively on reducing its supply. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, Hopefully, you'll get to hear more on this in the coming days, and we'll be promoting this as well on our socials. Awesome. Uh, so Instagram, something, Alex, you were involved <laughs> with previously, and we shut that down. That's also now active. So uh, as you can see on the feedback here, we are reaching thousands of accounts with all of our posts. And in the last month, uh, we reached around 12,000 people. Uh, most of our followers and some non-followers. So another platform that we've started posting actively on and getting some good, decent results from that as well. Do um, you want to talk about the Instagram crypto crew, Alex? Maybe you have a bit more insights on to what that looks like. Well, uh, when it comes to, um, when it comes to Instagram, you know, I have a theory that the, um, I have a theory that in the last bull run, when it ended, a lot of people that were invested in crypto kind of left the big crypto platforms and went back to Meta, went back to Facebook, went back to Instagram. And so I think it is a good idea to to reach out there and kind of pull them back in now that crypto's back up. Yeah, and crypto Twitter, Twitter seems to be the best place for crypto right now, right? But um, right. these results show and the interactions that we're getting on Instagram uh, are also uh, going up every day. So, yeah, I think Twitter might be the place for crypto news and interactions, but Instagram from the last boon run was very popular, but it, it is still popular. We'll see um, how it pans out in this bull run. But, yeah, Twitter is definitely the place to be. Uh, but if you can reach out to 12,000 people, why would you not avail that opportunity, right? So, yeah, that makes uh, a lot of sense good, to me. Good to keep posting on there. You've got a golden tick, Alex. On uh, on X, so yep. this will allow us to uh, get a bit more credibility and also start posting uh, more often, uh, where our post will reach a wider audience, and we'll also start some advertising campaigns based on this golden tick. And again, this was something which was asked by the community that why don't we get one? So they had some offers going on, which made sense. So listening to the community, we made this happen. Great work. Uh, website traffic continues to grow, as you can see here, 9,500 users, uh, various events, 94K events, uh, and 8,500 new users. So, yeah, the SEO work we are doing is working. We're targeting the right sort of people to come to our platforms. And this is also very good for advertisers. So if you see on our swap site, we provide advertising uh, right at the top here. Um, and if you are a DEX 
that's a really cool thing to have. And if you tell your advertisers, 10,000 people will get to see your ad within a week or a month, and you can charge premium for that. And that's something we are going to be doing more often in the future as well. All right, talk about prices. So we've given one BNB to the biggest EG buy winner. We talked about that. 150 went to the most volume traded on EG Spectre. $100 was given to the biggest single transaction. Uh, 76, no, 75 was to the best bug and improvement on EG Spectre. So we're giving away lots of money this month too. Uh, 0 0.5 BNB Alex was actually dropped to the EG Alphas as a thank you, uh, as a, um, you know, uh, a reward for their efforts. And guess what they decided to do with it? What's that? They said, we don't want it. Either do a buyback and burn or use it on marketing. Legends. Wow. Wow, good for them. Yeah, very, I was surprised actually. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm more than working on various activities to do with marketing. You'll see some stickers uh, come through on Telegram as well. So, yeah, very cool place to be um, and lots of interactions happening in the Alpha group. And um, because they don't want it, we'll force them to have it. So $25 will go to four of the most active people on TG, whether it's a member or a mod. So, Incognito, Yasin, Brandon, and Aaron Scotham. You'll each get $25. Please accept it and don't ask for it to be burnt or used for marketing. So reach out to the wizard and we'll drop this on to you. Yeah, big, big thanks to you guys. All right, so let's talk about what's coming next and then we can have a bit more chat. So as you can see, lots, lots of things were done this month and there's lots more things coming in the future as well. So let's touch a bit on what they look like. So, you know, the EG Spectre app is currently on our website. So it's here. So we have to divert traffic to our website for people to use it. But if you really want to grow this platform, the way you do it is by integrations to external websites. So where you do a partnership, for example, with Flutes or Coin Insight, Token Insight, or any other uh, website that we are speaking to, wouldn't it be cool if they were able to embed this widget on their on their website? So all the traffic they get, they can also get uh, cross-chain transactions and anonymous transactions on their website, right? And that's exactly what we are doing. You'll be able to embed this widget onto an external website. And the partnership we are doing with platforms is that we do a revenue share model, right? It could be 60-40, could be 70-30 or whatever. So you put this widget on your website, you give your users anonymous transactions, all the volume you generate, just like EG Swap, will give you a piece of the pie. So that's going to be quite good for us uh, long term in terms of growing our audience and also adding to our volume. So that's coming next. We are also going to have an EG Spectre TG bot. So Telegram bots have taken off and you've seen projects which, which have just released a Telegram bot and they've got to multi-million market cap just based on that bot, right? So we are also going into the bot market. So EG Spectre with all of its functionality will now be available as a Telegram bot. So you can send it messages and it will respond in real time and you'll be able to do a whole anonymous or discrete transaction right within Telegram without leaving it. So that's something uh, which is going to be quite different um, for a tool like this. Uh, but there is a demand for it and uh, a space we really want to investigate. So that will be coming very soon. And also, I'll get your thoughts on this, Alex, after I talk about this. So EG Spectre, we're also opening API access. So lots of decentralized exchanges or even centralized exchanges um, can now then request access to our technology. So if they want to integrate with us, we will give them API access. So they'll be able to use all of our um, algorithms, all of our logic to offer this in a white labeled way to their users. And again, we'll do it in, in a way which shares revenue with both projects and again, increases our reach and adds more volume to our platforms. Yeah, I think that's the perfect next step. Yeah, and it's going to be something which is quite cool. Um, and, you know, we'll have the website covered on a UI level. We'll have the bots covered. We'll also have the APIs covered. So really gives us a um, far outreach. We're talking to a few media partners. So 
Um, we are in these groups where, you know, lots of builders and Web3 builders are there and we always talk to each other how we can promote our projects. So um, being a DEX is also quite key that we have partners available in everything, right? So we are doing a media partnership. We're speaking to several media houses to A, do media posts about us and B, to become our go-to supplier where we can defer projects to and get commission out of it. So, you know, when we list, I don't know, 50 projects and they want to put out a media post, instead of going to a third party, they go to our media partner, they get a discount, we get a revenue share and the whole thing works smoothly. So we're looking for a media partner and um, there'll be EG updates going to more than a thousand media outlets in March. So our name will be out there uh, and we're also going to do a media partnership next month. So that's quite cool. Um, Telegram advertising will also start. We'll be posting about us in about 3,000 plus Telegram groups. So that's coming in March. Uh, we've seen good results of doing a trial run where we posted in a few groups and lots of people came to join us. So we'll be doing it on a bigger scale to 3,000 groups in March. We have major, major integrations coming for EG Swap and EG Spectre uh, with some decentralized exchanges and partners, which will really add more liquidity pools to our backend. So we'll announce them in March as well. This is quite uh, exciting and really happy that we were able to get this done. And then a few things for EG Swap and just trying to innovate, just trying to see how we can add value to crypto users in the new bull run. So uh, Ethereum trading fees are ridiculous, right? And you've seen that that as soon as a bit of hype comes along, the trading fees are in hundreds, right? And getting ETH for people also becomes a problem. It's not readily available and you have to pay a lot of money to do uh, Ethereum transactions. So if you don't have ETH, you can't pay cash, you can't transact. So what we are trying to do on EG Swap is that we'll allow you to trade on Ethereum without having the need to have ETH to pay gas. And the way that will work is that, let's say you want to convert USDC to SHIB in Ethereum, but you don't have any Ethereum to pay gas. What we will do is that we will take all the gas fees from your USDC. So the token that you are selling will be used to pay gas fees in the back end. And that's something quite innovative and not many people are doing that. So we'll be having a go at that in the near future. Uh, secondly, uh, lots of times you must have seen this issue where you put a transaction through the blockchain and it really costs you money on Ethereum and other blockchains where the fees are very heavy. So you put a transaction through, but the slippage was too much or you did not select the right amount or you had two less funds. The transaction will actually fail on the blockchain and it will cost you gas fees. So what we will do on EG Swap is that we will not charge you any fees for transactions which fail. We will actually simulate the transaction in the back end. We will make sure that it will pass. And if it doesn't pass, we won't put it through. So this way, you know that when you're on our DEX, you'll be able to get a confirmation of the trade and you won't be charged fees for transactions that fail. And lastly, auto slippage will be on EG Swap. So no more manually trying to work out how much a token has tax. So instead it is 5%, 6% or 1%, we'll uh, try to add true auto slippage. So you can just select it to auto and then forget about it. And then we'll do all the hard work for you. And lastly, uh, speaking to VCs and investment firms. So as you must have heard the news, uh, I think Floki got a 10 million investment, Alex, uh, a couple of days ago, and right. their price really skyrocketed. So having a VC or an investment firm really helps provide that uh, backing that you are legit, and then, then you can do uh, major moves in the crypto realm, right? So we're speaking to a few partners. There has been interest. Um, nothing confirmed yet, so I don't want to use this as a news uh, just to hype uh, everything up. So just being transparent that we are talking, something may or may not come out of it, but uh, that is something we are actively looking for, to have a partner which helps us in our growth. And as the technology that you've seen today and also uh, all the way that we have come so far is really amazing, and we'll continue to improve on it and adding a partner 
who has the funds to promote us in the right areas, in the right networks, really will, uh, you know, make sure that we grow as we are supposed to. So we are looking out for it. We are having these conversations. And if something is confirmed, we will definitely share that with you. So that wraps up February and it's the second month of the year and we've done so much already. So yeah, thoughts, Alex. That was, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot for February. <laughs> You know, yeah. uh, I do have some thoughts. Um, one th one thing that I've been thinking about is how the concept of revenue share is kind of woven throughout a lot of different things we do, um, yeah. whether it's other projects or with our community or uh, other ways. Can you speak a little bit about how you feel like that concept kind of speaks to the EG philosophy overall? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's quite giving has always been part of our one of our core um, things that we believe in, right? We, right? we think about it. We make sure that our products are aligned with it. Given away $3.7 million, uh, I appreciate that we haven't contributed to that for a while. But as you can see, the tech that we've been building does not come cheap and takes time to build. Um, what we have done is that integrated this giving philosophy in each and everything that we do. So in the long run, as the project grows, that revenue share that we do not only helps our projects, but also helps us to grow as a company and also uh, do good in the world. So I've always been looking at places like Uniswap and PancakeSwap. And if you go to DeFi Llama and in my previous chats, I did do a screen share to show how much volume these uh, platforms get and how much money actually goes towards uh, building their own tech. And who are the users who are making these platforms popular is projects like ours, right? We work hard to create a project. We work hard to build a community and the community actually works hard to take the token places by using their hard earned money to buy the token. And all of that effort goes unrewarded on the platform because you use them for a swap and you get nothing back. So we thought, it will be a different ethos or different mentality to share the revenue with the project. So it kind of becomes a no brainer because uh, if you are trading something on Uniswap or PancakeSwap, why don't you do that on EasySwap where you'll get the same functionality, you'll get the best prices because we check across the DeFi spectrum. Um, so even if you are uh, a token, uh, which is not listed on our decks, we will still go out in the market and get the best price for you. And even if your project was listed on our decks and there was a better price available elsewhere, we'll give you the better price. So we don't really become biased towards our exchange. And once that transaction goes through, two things happen, Alex. One is that we share revenue with the project if they are whitelisted. And number two, we burn a portion of their supply. So Stacks is a token which is listed. We burnt about 34 million tokens just uh, in last month, and we also burnt about 15 million this month, right? So if you trade on our platform, you get the revenue share. You also get your tokens burned, and you get the best functionality which is available. So if you still choose to go to Uniswap and PancakeSwap, <laughs> it kind of, you know, it doesn't sit right with me as to why a project would like to do that. So we've made these texts available. Um, just to attract more users and more projects to list on us. It's the thing of credibility as well, I think, which keeps people away. But once we show this tech and, uh, you know, AMAs like this, where people can see uh, our technology and hear us speak, uh, more and more projects will start to use our tech and also get rewarded for it. Perfectly said. Amazing. I, I do have a question for you on the uh, the dev side. Do mm -hmm. you think in a in a future iteration of the roadmap, we might see Solana tokens added to EG Swap? Um, good question. So what we are doing first is um, focusing on the EVM chain. So this is the Ethereum virtual machine because our tech, mm -hmm. uh, all the back end is built on uh, EVM tokens. So we can support any EVM chain. So for example, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, we can go to uh, Avalanche, we can go Arbitrum. So these are our first targets because they are very easy to integrate. Solana, as you know, is not EVM compatible. It's a totally different uh, platform tech-wise. So it can be done, but it's not a quick win. So we'll have to spend considerable effort and energy to make that happen. And I know Solana is pumping right now and people want to trade on it. Uh, 
and there's not many integrations available because technically it's not that straightforward to do. So yeah, it's part of our roadmap to do that in the future, but our first target is an EVM chain and Arbitrum being one uh, which I quite like myself and it provides you the same functionality on ETH, but very less fees. So we'll probably target that next and then onwards to the other exchanges, uh, other blockchains. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Arbitrum and the EVM chains now, and then Solana might be uh, part of EG Swap 3.0 down the road. Absolutely. That's it. So let me see if there's so many burning questions. Sorry, uh, I can't let people jump on because it will go for a very long time. We had a massive update uh, and it's been 47 minutes already. So Alex, there's something you see in the chat that we can answer uh, before we wrap up. Yeah, I'll post real quick and then we'll keep an eye out. Cool. As, as I said, guys, if you go to our new site, uh, you'll be able to see everything that we talked about in this post here. And we've been keeping this new site up to date. And if you scroll down, um, you'll see these regular updates happening on a daily basis. And if you want someone to catch up with what's happening in EG, just send them to this place here. Uh, we've really kept this up to date and there's detailed uh, information available as to what's happening with the project and where we are headed next. And it's a huge help if you guys can follow and boost on our socials. You can find our official socials on our website to make sure you don't get caught by an impersonator. Um, but once you find those uh, socials on our website, engagement helps. It really does. Yep. So if you are seeing my screen, you can see it on here. Uh, we need to add Insta and Reddit back in, so we'll do that. But yeah, please promote, like, retweet as much as you can really helps get the word out and helps us uh, grow more. Do you have a couple questions in the chat if um, exchange listings are going to be part of the roadmap? Yeah, down the line there will be, but we'll be focusing on uh, tier one and tier two exchanges. So we are on Mexi at the moment, which is more than enough to uh, cater for our needs. We are on PancakeSwap and EGSwap, uh, which DexWise are uh, absolutely perfect for us. But I think any other small exchanges won't really help us at this time. And they come with a considerable cost to list. And also they want a lot of your tokens as liquidity. And then you need a market maker to make sure there's enough buys and sells happening. Otherwise the exchange will delist you. And we don't really have the funds uh, or the resources to manage that with another exchange right now. But if a tier one or tier two exchange comes along, absolutely. So we're talking the likes of Gate or uh, uh, KuCoin, for example, this, they will be our um, obvious targets as big exchanges, which can really add value to us. But the smaller ones, not at this time. There's a question about um, any plans to raise our profile on Twitter. Um, can we have a community drive to do so? Um, part of the update that Hassan went through was talking about how we did have a Twitter raid um, that had some good results, yeah. um, but definitely more plans to do things like that in the future, right? Yeah, absolutely. And we see lots of people who call themselves influencers, but not really give you anything back. So we are not really going to pay someone to drop our name. We are more focusing on building long-term partnerships and collaborations where somebody actively works with us, uh, spends time to learn our tech and really helps on board projects and people to us. And in return, we'll also reward them uh, for their efforts. We're not gonna pay someone to just shill us brainlessly uh, when they don't even know about our technology or just say that, you know, give me your artifacts or pictures and promos and I'll share them to my audience. That doesn't really work. So looking for long-term collaborations, our tech speaks for itself. And we really want a partner who can engage with us and work with us to grow. Exactly. Cool. I think that should be enough for February. <laughs> it's been it's been a hell of a month. Uh, lots of amazing tech, lots of amazing updates. Uh, good buys are coming in. Uh, the community activity is picking up uh, on all platforms. Uh, it really is becoming a fun place to be. Uh, we are looking for uh, people to volunteer and open up the Telegram voice chat as well. Again, 
lots of things are different this time. We are definitely looking towards the community to guide us as to what should be done next. On an engagement level, lots of people have said to open up Telegram voice chats. So we need a host. So if you are good on the mic, um, we are happy to start hosting voice chats on Telegram, which are going to be between half an hour to an hour to begin with, to see what the feedback is like, but we need someone to moderate it. So if you want to do that, uh, please get in touch with our mods. Um, we'll open up some sessions and also make sure that uh, the team drops in to speak as often as possible. Uh, so that is not off. Uh, that, is, that is not something we don't want to do. We just need a host and we don't have the uh, resources ourselves to do that on a weekly or daily basis right now. That was a lot for February. I'm really looking forward to March. Absolutely. So am I. Cool. Uh, let's end this here then, guys. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, we'll wrap this up and put this on YouTube uh, and also uh, link it on Telegram. So thank you all for all your efforts, and we'll see you in March with another update. Thanks, Hassan. Thanks, Alex. Bye.